heathens. I'm sure I look pretty uh, shiny. I'm going to try to stay in the light. Um, the sun is going down. It's really nice. It's way too early in my opinion. My uh, curtain rod is kind of hanging on my forehead. But I wanted to try to do this video in the light because I feel like you're going to get really good visuals. So I'm going to try to make it fast without speeding through it too much. These are two mystery bags that I got from Ipsy that uh, came together. Okay, maybe it's a mystery to me too. So one of them was the GG Gorgeous bag, and I thought it was supposed to contain items, but is empty. So I'm going to have to look into that. The other one <laughs> was I wanted another one of these because it is one of my favorite bags that we've ever had. Like, actual bag. So we're just going to get right on in and see what the products are. So first thing in here, I do already have, it is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. And I actually have not had a chance to try this yet. So I'm going to put that over to the side. Then we have... A Hello Fab First Aid Beauty Coconut Water Cream Help Hydrate, Smooth, and Recharge, which is safe for sensitive skin. I feel like the light is going down even further while I'm filming. Alright, now we have a black tube. A black mystery tube. Okay, I can see the words now. It is a La Butte Fatale Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade tough love oh oh no it's a twisty here goes nothing I don't even know what shade it's supposed to be so I don't know what color I'm expecting to come up and out oh my I feel like I see the hole I'm waiting to start seeing color come out maybe if I hold it upside down I'm going to lose light by the time I get anything out of this. Am I twisting it the wrong way? No, it doesn't go the other direction. Oh, oh, I don't know if you can see through it, but I, I'm starting to see something come up. I'm going to put it on my lips before I swatch it. Oh, it's not what I was expecting. Oh, it's a strange, like, moussey formula. I don't know if you can see that. I was expecting more of a cream. Oh geez, I got way too much. What am I supposed to do with this? Uh, 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 oh dear. Like what 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 is happening? Uh. I really like the color. Oh my. Okay. We need a little help. I am losing light quickly and I'm looking kind of a fool. I'm trying to find like a lip brush that. This is a concealer brush, but it's about to work for now because it is brand new so I know there's no product on it I know I should wash it before using it but I don't really have that time so we're just gonna try to take something that's not coated with the product and get some of this excess gunk off I don't know why it's gunking up like that do you see in here Uh, that lip line is not appealing. Okay, well, you know what? Uh, a plus for the color. But that formula thus far is not ideal. And now it's going to dry down kind of funky. But I want to get the rest before the light goes down. Oh, 
do I already have this one? It's a Phase Zero Velvet Eyeshadow. Uh. I don't know if Velvet's the shade, but... Velvet is the shade. Is it one that I already have? Because I've got my two sitting in front of me. Darn it! Okay, it's one I already have. So I'm going to take the one that I already have and swatch it, for those of you who have not seen it. It's a very pretty color, almost kind of similar to the lip shade. Huh. I wonder if that was on purpose. On my hand, it looks much pinkier. But in the container, it looks kind of similar to the lip color. All right. So we've got the bag in here that just tells us everything. The bag. The, uh... I keep catching a glimpse of my lips, and they just look ridiculous. Okay. Last but not least, we have an Ofra and Madison Miller collab item. It looks like a blush. I'm trying to hulk into the packaging. Uh, yes, it is All You Need Is Love. It's a really pretty, like, apricot -y pink. And then, yeah, my lips are driving me <sighs> That is what it looks like on my finger. And then swatched under the eyeshadow. It's got like a an orangey apricot -y tone. It's pretty. Don't know that I'd use it as a blush necessarily. But I think it would make a really nice eyeshadow. So, yeah, if you... If you know about this, let me know while I'm looking it up, because I was expecting there to still be sample items in a bag, but, uh, there's not, so, um, that's on me. I take full responsibility. I didn't read fine print. I just saw mystery bags, and I was like, ooh, yes! Um, so completely on me. What? Can anyone give me advice on this lip product? Did I use it wrong? It is a lipstick, right? Yeah, matte liquid lipstick. I don't... I love the color. Like, I'm really sad that I can't... Uh, it's starting to... Oh, no. Do you see what's happening? Because it's drying... It's just flaking and peeling. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to play around with that and figure something out. And update y'all at some point, because... Anyway. Okay, this video did not go in any way or shape or form how I planned. Um, we got some nice light... Ooh, I'm going to take advantage of the light and just put on some highlighter because since I can't figure out my own lighting, I'm going to use the ColourPop Electric Slide Highlight, and I'm not using a mirror, so I can't see how much I'm putting on, but if it's really intense, maybe it'll pick up better. Like, I have a mirror over here, but I can't see details because I'm not wearing my glasses. So, maybe if I can at least get some pretty highlight, it'll make use of this light. I don't know. We can hope. I'm just covered in awkward swatches. Swatches! Highlight! Maybe! I don't know. Okay, well, this was a video. Um, wow, that highlight's strong. And there goes my light. And now it's back. Okay, anyway, before this video gets any weirder, I'm going to wrap it up. So, if you enjoyed this cluster of a video, give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy seeing my awkward cluster of a person, subscribe. Um, they don't always go this way. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. Um, please stick around and give me and my awkwardness another chance. For the rest of you, I will see you next time. Bye! Okay, so, 
uh, today has been a journey. <laughs> it's only been like three hours since I filmed the part that you just watched. And what happened after that? I actually made a little follow-up rant that was like four minutes long that's not going to make it into this video, and I'm about to explain why. So, right after I filmed that part, this part, um, <clears throat> I went online to the Ipsy page because they do still have this listed as a, like, purchasable item, and I wanted to double check to see if I just didn't read right or if I had been gypped, so to speak, by not receiving any items. And sure enough, it does say online that you're supposed to receive, now I don't remember if it was five or six of the um, Gigi Gorgeous collaboration items, but there, there are, or there were supposed to be items inside this bag. And I am going to say, because I feel like I was kind of caught up earlier, there is like a silk lining, like silk satin feeling lining in the bag. It is a really nice bag. It's really cute, and it is a little bigger than some of them. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. So I was supposed to have received items within that bag. So I reached out to Ipsy Support. Um... And of course, I was not happy. And I did let them know, like, hey, here's my order number. I ordered this mystery bag and it came completely empty. I did order it with another bag that came with all the products, but the Gigi Gorgeous one had absolutely nothing. Was already unzipped, was empty. And um, I filmed a little rant to y'all explaining and ranting. Um, yeah, so anyway, fast forward like two, two and a half hours, and I received an email from Ipsy, like directly from Ipsy, saying that an item had been refunded, um, and that it should show up, I believe it said seven to ten or seven to fourteen um, days, and then I received an email back actually from support uh, in direct response to my email to them, like an actual person responding, um, stating essentially that they were really sorry to hear that, that they had refunded the item, but they were unable to provide a replacement, um, because everything was currently out of stock. The only thing I'm going to say is that's a little strange to me, only because it is still listed on the app, which is what I use, um, as a an available mystery bag. So, um, but either way, I'm supposed to be getting a full refund for that particular bag. So, I guess that does make up for it. So, like, I have a free <laughs> Gigi Gorgeous cosmetic bag, which is really cool. Um, I just don't have any additional items. And I do apologize because, you know, I was really excited to film in natural lighting again. And since it was supposed to be, or at least I thought it initially anyway, that it was supposed to be some of the collab items, I was like, ooh, I'm going to show you all the colors, and, um, I couldn't, because there wasn't any. So, anyway, uh, I will, I'm knocking stuff over, sorry, let me stop messing with stuff. I am going to say, um, in Ipsy's defense, honor, I don't know what word I'm looking for there. Anyway, they responded not just same day, but in less than like six hours. Um, and I've always had pretty good, knock on wood, I've always had pretty good back and forth with Ipsy customer support, getting something resolved one way or the other. Um, so, yeah, it's been resolved. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have any additional stuff 
from that to show you. Uh, I'm not waiting on anything in the mail, and that's kind of the end of it. <laughs> but I did want to keep you all updated because it happened before I could even edit the two original parts together, which was the try on in the rant. So I still haven't figured out any additional information about the <laughs> liquid lipstick and what I did wrong. So I'll be playing around with that a little bit more as well. So I guess that is it. So cluster, yes. Resolved, yes. I would still like for you to stick around. Uh, the point of that video was definitely not to create drama, which is why I'm so glad that it was resolved in a manner that I could be like, yet yeah, sucked, but here we are. Um, yeah, that'll be it. So if you enjoyed the bit of this video that had try-ons, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my content, please subscribe. I look forward to seeing you all again in my next video. Bye!